Hi everyone, welcome to Zainal's NEET PG 2022 information series. The Andhra Pradesh Competent Authority Quota, which is the Government Quota Counseling, uh, has been notified uh, on 12th August and the application form filling uh, and registration has started from 13th of August, which is today. In this video and a set of videos, we will be looking at uh, the different rules and regulations, the eligibility for counseling, the application requirements, the certificates that are required, and other uh, round-wise rules, etc. for the Andhra Pradesh Government Quota Counseling. Uh, Andhra Pradesh Government Quota Counseling, uh, Andhra Pradesh has two counselings. One is the Government Quota Counseling or the Competent Authority Quota Counseling. And the second is the Andhra Pradesh Management Quota Counseling. Now, in the Andhra Pradesh Management Quota Counseling, uh, there are private institute seats which are available on an all India basis. These are called category B seats and any candidate across India is eligible. So if you're looking at category B seats, which is basically the open seats under Andhra Pradesh, the notification has not come out yet for the management quota counseling. We are now discussing the government quota counseling, which is only for Telangana state MBBS, Andhra Pradesh state MBBS or AP resident or Telangana resident uh, candidates. So uh, if you're looking at management quota, you wait for the notification for management quota. This counseling is not relevant for you. We look at the seats that come under Andhra Pradesh government quota counseling. First one is a 50 percentage of seats, which are under Andhra Pradesh management quota counseling. These seats are from the state government institutes. Uh, the government medical colleges in Andhra Pradesh contribute 50 percentage of seats to all India quota and the rest are available in Andhra Pradesh government quota counseling. You also have 50 percentage of the uh, balance seats after AAQ, uh, which are in SVAMS Tripidi, which come under the state government quota counseling, and the 50 percentage of seats in private medical colleges, which are surrendered to state government quota counseling. Who is eligible for this? We'll look at it in the next videos. Uh, but the basic qualification, we'll look at it now. Any candidate who is UR or EWS above 50 percentile is eligible for the, this counseling, and for UR PWD. The, reserve, uh, the eligibility criteria is 45 percent. There is uh, the backward classes BCA, BCB, BCC, uh, BCD, and BCE, as well as SC, ST have a 40 percentile qualifying criteria. But note here, there might be some uh, OBC candidates, uh, also BC candidates who belong to these categories who might not have been eligible for All India Quota, OBC, NCL because they don't fall under OBC non creamy layer or their ca caste is not part of the central OBC list, etc. But State criteria applies for state quota. You may be eligible for uh, state quota based on the list of the criteria. So uh, just have a look at uh, that. Uh, don't assume that just because you're not eligible for AAQ under OBC and CL, you will not be eligible for Andhra Pradesh uh, state government quota under these categories. Uh, one more thing, EWS reservation. There is no confirmed uh, uh, clause which is mentions that EWS reservation will go ahead from this year, but it mentions that if applicable, you have to, this will be implemented, etc. So uh, we are waiting for confirmation. But as of now, if you are an EWS candidate, go ahead and pr provide your certificate so that if it is implemented, you will be able to uh, benefit from the EWS reservation. Now, uh, we will be looking at the eligibility, the eligibility in detail in the next video. Please have a look at the next video for the eligibility.